Alright, so... I think it's safe for us to leave for now. Like, I, I want more information before I make a final call on this one, you know? I feel like they haven't fully given me everything yet. Are you coming for me, Watcher? You're not. All right, let's drop another save As here. As you will. Who's this Shistal guy? No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Leave me be, Stranger. I have work to do. Oh, the other monks gave me a warm, wel warm welcome. Why not you? I have no interest in Nile Chatter. If you knew the daily routine of a monk, you would understand. I know the routine well. I lived here for many years. It is you who should know me. Of course. It's just that I did not recognize your face. I'm just not acquainted with all of the monks quite yet. I was not a monk. I think you were lying. You do well to leave me be. I'm tired of this game. Take your questions. Go away, monkey. Um. Yeah. Oh, no. I have many more questions to ask. For stars, who are you really? I am your death, foolish meat. And it's a doppelganger. Doppelganger stole Shistal's appearance. Fortunately, I forced the monster to reveal his true identity. Unfortunately, there must be more of the creatures disguised as others I know and trust. All right, hit the greater For doppelganger. The and down he goes. What would you have me do? 4,000 experience for that one. You will. Holy crap. That is a ton of experience. That should have been enough for another level up, but uh, I guess we're just short of that. Yes. Um... How much? Yeah, you're yeah, 37. Helm. Short. Give me strength. Wait, are you evil? No, you're chaotic good. Okay. With I thought so. Blessing. For whatever reason, the difference between lawful and chaotic doesn't seem to be a big deal in this game, but the difference between good and evil is everything in this game. Which I, I understand to some extent, but, you know, it, it's one thing to agree on what should be done. It's another thing to agree on how it should be done, and both of those can lead to intense arguments. So I guess I don't understand why, you know, they're, like, that difference of opinion is not allowed, so to speak, in a party. Other than, you know, logistics. Like, can you imagine if you had to have everybody with the exact same alignment? That would cause major problems. You would have an option of how you would have to play through the game, you know, at least four or five times to get everything that you wanted in terms of party members. And then uh, you would have to uh, have a very limited option uh, of people that could actually go into a party. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Saladis, good to see you. I trust you are well. So as can be expected, Piato, how have you been? Uh, as I feel as though life is dragging me along by a noose, Piatto, not good at all. I'll say nice. Sure. Let's let's do the normal lie. How you doing? Fine. Good. Okay. Those are the acceptable answers. Oh, I pine for the days when you and Garai still called Candlekeep home. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I shall have to speak with you later at length, but for now you must rest. Garai's old room is the third on the south corridor, just as it was. I think there are a few things for you there as well. We shall see you later. All right. Um, Piatto greeted me warmly and welcomed me back to Candlekeep. Uh, he, he pointed me to the room. They didn't... Oh, there we go. Uh, he also said there may be some items left for me in Gorion's old room. So As you will. The third on the south corridor. I don't know like which one's the third. I, I have to explore... Figure out which one it is. Okay, so let's say that's one, two, and then this is three. Like third. Right? Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. After you retrieve the scroll, it would be good of you to see Teth Terrell. He's waiting for you just upstairs. So this. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. That's the one. All right. By helm. Let's see what we got here. Hello, Saladis. If you're reading this, then it means I met I have met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you before. 
However, if death came too soon, then I would never have then I would have never been given the chance. First off, I am not your biological father, for this distinction lies with an entity known as Ball. Wow. The Ball that I speak of is the one you know of as a divinity. In the crisis known as the Time of Troubles, when the, when the gods walked Faerun, Ball was also forced into a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned of the death that awaited him during his time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Super! Your mother was one of these women, and as you know, she died in childbirth, as you might expect from demon childbirth. So, great life for uh, Saladus' mother, from what we can see so far. I had been her friend and on occasion lover. Oh, good for Garion too. I felt obligated to raise you as my own. I have always thought of you as my child, and I hope you still think of me as your father. You are a special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. If you make use of our extensive library, you will find that our founder, Alondo, has many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. Uh, there are many who will want to use you for their own purposes. One, a man who calls himself Saravok, is the worst danger. He has studied here at Candlekeep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Garion. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm the son of Baal. Probably not a good thing. All right, hello, Saladus. Uh, that's not a quest, but all right, it uh, it was added. Yeah. All right, my so is my life. they also want me to read all of the stuff in the library. We do good. This is my clan was long ago. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it. I might uh, pick them up and skim them. Uh, but reading them in full probably is not going to be something that people are necessarily interested in. So, uh, maybe I'll go through and skim anything that might have relevant, relevent information on me being the Our son. Our rules are very strict. Of Baal. You yeah, there, stop it, surrender yourself. You're accused of murdering the men Brudos Kostak, Thaldorn Tenhevich, and Realtar Anchev. If you give yourself up now, you'll be assured of a fair tri trial. I am murdering your once, so I'm perfectly willing to go to trial. My instance of this accusation should be refuted quickly with any fair court of law. How far back is my save? Let's say that one. Let's try it. I'm glad you still have some sense, some of the sense Garion taught you. Please follow me, I'm sure everything will be sorted out quickly. And we're in jail. Is that is that it? Okay, somebody comes in. Someone disturbs me. This is all runt. So, Saladus, you have sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that has lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all of your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Bruno's Kostak and Realtor Achev. Um, but I have done nothing wrong. Why have you accused me of such a thing? Have I accused you? You were seen fleeing the murder scene. Coveris identified the identifying ring of a shadow thief assassin in your personal effects and gold minted in am. Um, I feel that this is strong enough proof to accuse you. Of course. The murder thing we have seen and found it is not hard to figure what your purpose was. From what I have been told, you've been trying to place all the misfortune of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. Assume you and your friends are assassins in the employ of Am. Um, Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an Omnian invasion. It matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Should not have taken the ring. It was just a basic ring, I thought, but uh, turned out to be quite special. Not too surprising. So is, is that it? Do I just like hang out here until it's game over? No, somebody else is coming. Greetings, young one. I am sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Orant will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There, thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Garion would not want to see his only child killed. A scant few weeks after his own death. Sure, it's just been a couple weeks. Tis as a favor to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make that way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have, possess I have your possessions with me. 
You must take them and go with haste. Uh, do you know anyone by the name of Covaris? I know of no one named Covaris, but Covaris is the reverse of Saravak, a young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. I know not where he has gone. It is now time for you to go, Saladis. I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs, but from there you are on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs, as there are many guardians and traps, and perhaps whoever planned these murders. However dangerous the catacombs may be, they are a safer alternative to Ulrond's wrath. We're as ready as we'll ever be. All right. I've returned to Candlekeep. I'm, right, yeah. What does it say here? It's just like the tunnels of my old clan. Someone's got to a lot of trouble to ensure that Elrond thinks we murdered the leaders of the Iron Throne. Who would want the le Iron Throne leaders dead other than us, that is. All right, so what I'm going to do here is drop a quick save. Um, I think I'm on number 24 now. Sounds about right. Uh, then I'm going to load a game. And I am going to go back to quick save three. And I'm going to go in search of books. As you will. So, like I said, I was going to skim As them. I'm not sure uh, how far back I have to go here. But I'm going to look in search of the prophecies about the uh, son of Baal. I, I might be able to do this later in the game. I, not be, I might not be locked out of it, but uh, I'm not willing to take that chance right now. What do we have here? History of Shadowvale? Like, that's not, that's not the book I'm... A pat on the back. My honor is my life. That's not the book I'm looking for. Right. Um... Yeah, there's there's something from Elminster there. Yeah. Nothing. Let's just see what's available for me, you know? Well, I've been detective visibility. I don't know why I'm even looking. If it's not a book I'm interested, I'm not taking any of this stuff with me. I'm not gonna go back. History of the Dragon Coast. I'm not interested in histories though. That's Helm, the thing. Give me strength! So, I'm going to assume that if it's a prophecy, it'll be one that's uh, apparent as a prophecy instead of as you will. Um, labeled as a history. What do we got? History. History. They do seem to be in order here, but... They're not what I'm looking for. History of the North. So there, these guys are still alive, right? I could kill them or I could take credit for killing them. Either way, they die at the end and that's kind of what I wanted. At least that's what the game told me I wanted. Everything has just been history. There's no prophecies here. So ultimately, I'm a little disappointed so far. Like they told me there were a ton of books here about the prophecies for me. But they're not showing up. History of the Fateful Coin. History of the Dales and Elvin Coin. Elven Court. A lot of these I've already seen before, although I have not read them. So I don't think they're particularly special. Alright, down one more set. I think there's only one more set of stairs. Yeah, there's just a ton down By here. Helm. Um, where do I start? Jeez, let's start here. With Helm's Blessing. I'll work our way around and then around the outside. There's just so much to look at here. Okay, that's a scroll. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. History of the Dead Three. I don't think I've seen that before. History of the North. 
History of the North. History of the North. I'm not seeing it. Did they lie to me? They told me that there were prophecies here. So at least I can say I looked, I guess. That I double checked. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. You watch, people are gonna tell me actually. It's all these histories of the North and the histories of the Shadowvale that are actually the prophecies. But I checked one, it didn't seem to be the case. That the histories had any sort of prophecy in them, so... I'm gonna assume that those are two different genres of Baldur's Gate's book. History of the Last March of the Giants. Right, these up here now. And then we'll go around the outside. Scroll. Did I already look at these? I feel like I already looked at these. There's where it starts, the history of the North Part 1. In the beginning, there was the South. Then they made the North, and it was good. It was probably written by the Northerners. That's what I'm assuming. Everybody likes where they're from. Unless you hate it. People both love and hate where they're from. Almost all the time. It's a weird dichotomy. History of the Shadowvale again. History of the Shadowdale. Shadowvale? Shadowdale? Doesn't really matter either way. They're not the books that I'm looking for. And that angers me slightly. The Bell in the Depths. And last... No, there's one more in the corner. I was about to say last one here. The Chosen of Mistra. Just not getting the stuff that I'm looking for. And History of the Dales in the Elven my Court. My honor is my life. All right, down one more flight. We'll see if there's anything here. Or if I just wasted like five minutes of time looking for any sort of information in the library. All right. As you will. We'll, we'll look here. Didn't I explore up there? History of Luirin. Why don't you check out this one? History of the Moon Sea. Nothing. Uh, a random letter. The spawn of the Lord of Murder are fated to come into their inheritance to bloodshed and misery. It is the hope of their father that only one shall remain alive to inherit his legacy. I foresee that the children of Baal shall kill each other in a bloody massacre. Okay. Finally found something. We're gonna kill each other. There can only be one. There, there can be only one. There we go. That's the line. Alright, here's another one. I can't read from that screen, and that upsets me. During the days of the Avatars, the Lord of Murder will spawn a score of mortal progeny. These offspring will be aligned good and evil, but chaos will flow through them all. When the beast's bastard children come of age, they will bring havoc to the lands of the Sword Coast. One of these children must rise above the rest and claim their father's legacy. This inheritor will shape the history of the Sword Coast for centuries to come. Let's drop these on the ground so that I don't get them confused. Once again, none of this is carrying over. We're just looking at for information here. I looked here. I did. So now I know we're looking for scrolls. So this does suddenly feel like it was worth my time. Hooray! Worth my time. Nothing. I know there's stuff here. I'm gonna check out this one in front first. No. No. So we got some information and that is good. Basically, we're gonna Highlander our way to the end of the game. Highlander end game. But, like that was not a good movie. 
if I'm being honest, like neither was the first Highlander. And I know a lot of people get upset when I say that, but it's not, it's not a very good movie. There's some iconic moments. It's fun. It's not a very good movie. What do we have over here? Now. Nothing, okay. Let's head to the back. So we, we found two scrolls about the children of Baal. And we're in the, the age of the avatars or something like that. But outside of that, we really didn't get that much information. Still gonna look though. Double check that that is it. I swore I looked in all this spots before because I know this is the kitchen and there's two cooks in there. Boom. So. All right, so now that we did that, let's reload my actual game, which is right here. And we will look in will. here as well before I forget. All right, Shadow do Door. Good. This is my clan was long ago. And what do we have over here? Scorcher and lightning bolt. Fireball. Do you hear something? Okay, it's it's just actually like people talking in the library. Like, it's been so quiet to this point, I figured it was, like, out in the real world. I'm like, what the hell's going on? All right, I'm going to drop everything that nobody wants. All right, Shadow Door? What is this? It's a level 5 spell. Uh, the illusion of the door. The illusion also permits the wizard to step through this door and disappear. In reality, he has darted aside and can flee totally invisible. Uh, for the spell's duration, a true scene. Okay, so this is what people have been doing to run. So this is much better for you. This is good. Minor globe of invulnerability. Um, I don't know. What level is it? Four. We'll teach it to somebody. You can learn it. Why not? Uh, cursed confusion. Dropped. We can just drop this. Nobody, nobody's going to give me money for that. These to be held on to. This can go. What is that? Fireball. Yeah, no surprises there. Monster summoning two. I think they both know. And two identify spells can both go. And we will pick it up from here next time. What is this? The store leads back to the upper levels of the keep. From the looks of it, it is heavily warded. Uh, luckily, Teth Terrell teleported you past such an obstacle. Common sense dictates that you make your escape through the opposite door. I'll think about it. But we'll take care of that next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Baldur's Gate. I've been Baldur's Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my moving forward squad of Ayantis, Saladis, Minsk, Yeslik, Corin, and Dina Hare. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.